Last night, I waited to try to find a time to get some privacy and do the vlog. And uh, I recorded it at like 3 a.m. and I was like really tired and out of it, so uh, I'm gonna try to redo it now. Okay, so yesterday, I headed into um, central Chiang Mai. Um, I passed through this uh, gate. It turns out that the canal or whatever around the um, center square area is actually a moat, like, so there's all these different gates that are ruins of the different corners of the wall. I was staying on the uh, east side of the wall, and then I was needed to make my way to the north side, so I kind of cut, cut my way through diagonally. I checked out at 11, so I had like three hours to kill before I could check in. I stopped in at a, this a cafe thing, it's called a Huawei. At a iced Huawei, which is just coffee with uh, condensed milk, and then I had an orange cake, which was very good. From there, I started heading north, I crossed the moat. Um, I was originally planning on going to this, uh, it was like a museum of photography. It's, it's in like a, sort of like a converted house, and so the lower level is like, more of like an office, and that was closed, and so I'm like, well, okay, I'll go upstairs. So I take off my shoes, go up the stairs, because it told me to take off my shoes. I get up to the top of the stairs, and it's closed, but I found a cat, so. I got some pictures of the cat. Uh, nearby, um, there is a really elaborate uh, temple. So I walked around the temple for a little while, and then went to the the area, the, the street that the hostel was on, to see where it was. And uh, again, I still had a couple hours. I saw in the distance there were some mountains. I checked on my map, and it, the mountains only like two and a half miles away, which is doable for me even though I just walked like three miles. <laughs> I timed it and I figured I'd be getting back around like five, but I, I uh, wanted to get back early enough to be able to go out to this uh, tour company and book a tour, um, or book a elephant tour sanctuary, <laughs> elephant sanctuary tour. And, but I wasn't really sure the office was, so I had to, I knew I had to get to the hostel and check the Wi-Fi to, or use the Wi-Fi to find out where it was. But so uh, as I was walking, Towards the mountains, I found another temple, <clears throat> which wasn't as elaborate, but they had some cool statues and stuff. And then I came across this uh, mall, which had a lot of crazy stuff. There's some um, like sky garden area with like restaurants and stuff. So I was gonna go up there for lunch, but then uh, it turned out that uh, it was only open at four. So um, to make the trip in there worthwhile, I sat in a um, massage chair for a little while. Oh, oh. So from there, I just kept walking. At the foot of the mountain, basically, there was uh, some waterfalls. So I got to go near one of those. It was a little awkward because uh, it was a lot more busy than I thought it would be, and I couldn't get as much like footage or photos. It was kind of awkward getting much higher on the waterfall because I'm not wearing like uh, hiking shoes or whatever, just regular walking shoes. Um, but I was able to get fairly high up. But I, there's like a lot of other people in my way, and at the, towards the top of the waterfall, there was uh, some guys um, doing like a photo shoot for some kind of skin cream ad or something like that. I headed back down. When I was heading up the mountain, I noticed that there was a zoo. So when I was coming back, I decided to check that out. And it was only like $4. It was kind of depressing because um, a couple of the exhibits were empty. And then um, a lot of the animals were just really lethargic. I'm hoping mostly just because of the weather. Because, um, you know, they're just trying to conserve energy. 
So most of them were either like hiding in the shadows or kind of sleeping or um, moving very slowly. I still had some interesting experiences. Deer. <laughs> I got to feed a elephant some some bananas. Oh. <laughs> and it uh it knew how to play the drum. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> they have like this whole like bird area that's enclosed, but like pretty much all the birds are chickens and roosters, so it's weird to see chickens and roosters at a zoo. <laughs> and they had a penguin area. They had these uh, otters, which I never really seen otters in real life. I'm like, they're so cute. Like they were doing this, like they sounded like kittens. They would follow me around the enclosure, and then like they like really responded to like the Velcro sound of my bag. Like I, I guess they thought it was some kind of food thing or something. So then I headed back and got to the hostel around like 5:30, and it turned out that I could actually uh, book the the exact elephant tour I was looking for um, from the hostel, so I didn't have to worry about figuring out where it was and going to it. Um, and I, actually, there was like a 400 baht discount, which is nice. Or 200 baht, I guess. So it's like, it like six bucks or something like that. But I didn't have enough cash to pay the woman at the counter. She uh, booked it for me. I told her I would go to the ATM and bring her the cash later. She's like, she, or she, she said I could do that. So I went out for, or I took a shower, because um, I desperately needed one. All in all today I walked, uh, what was it, 14.5 miles. I walked uh, back over to the uh, mall, because the Sky Garden would be open. Found out that, uh, Today, or yesterday, was uh, Lent for Buddhists. So um, all across Thailand, you can't buy alcohol, which I'm fine with. They also meant that like most business bars and stuff were closed. Originally, there was all these different options I wanted to check out on the roof, and it turned out that there's only like two open. There was like a Japanese barbecue place. The stools were very unstable, so I didn't want to sit there. And then so I went to this one like kind of ritzy lounge, and I was like the only person on the roof area. wanted to get some uh, time-lapse footage. For the drink, I had a virgin sangria. Just got, I, I don't know if I've ever had a regular sangria, because so, it's kind of a girly drink, but it looked good. And it tasted good. And then uh, I had a, it was a spaghetti that was like black, because it had a squid ink in it, and then uh, some like uh, slices of uh, like raw salmon. So I was sticking around, trying to do some more work on their Wi-Fi, and then uh, I feel bad for just not really getting anything else. So I uh, asked them, for some uh, french fries. It was a lot more fries than I was expecting. And they were kind of a weird um, consistency. It's like, they taste kind of like artificial. Like, I mean, they were kind of weirdly addicting, but like, they were like kind of powdery and oily at the same time. Pretty much right when they brought the fries, I realized that I needed to get back to the hostel soon because I wasn't sure when the lady was leaving. So I don't want to like leave her hanging as far as getting her the cash. I only finished like, half the fries. So it was just kind of awkward to <laughs> leave it like that. Rushed back to the hostel. She was still there, so I paid her. I'd been a little worried because I waited to the last minute to apply for my Vietnam visa. I got approved, which is good. Today I took uh, like a thousand photos. Um, I, I, I'm getting better at like taking duplicates of stuff just to salvage shots, like if the first one doesn't come out okay. Um, so I don't know how many I'll actually end up with. I'm very bitten, very sore, and very chafed, but uh, it was a good day. So um, until tomorrow, technically tonight, 